let me quickly show you how to draw exterior two-point architecture. The first thing you need to understand is that our horizon line in this case is going to be high so that I can give you a nice view of the roof of this building. You also need to understand that I'm going to start by drawing the roof of the building. I'm going to use only orthogonals. Remember, every line that I draw now will either be a vertical or an orthogonal since there are no horizontal lines in two-point perspective. So here you can see that to the best of my abilities on this iPad, I've drawn only orthogonal lines and this is in a drawing of the roof of a building located below eye level. Now at this point, I can start dropping vertical lines to show how tall the building is. I've started with the corner that is closest to me. And obviously that's indicated by the fact that that edge, that corner, is closest to the bottom of my screen, in your case, the bottom of your paper. Now, that line has now determined how tall that building will be all the way around. Now, I know that back here, every time an orthogonal changes direction, there'll be another vertical dropped, and then another vertical dropped, and then another vertical dropped, and back here as well. But in order to make these all agree with this first vertical that I dropped, I need to draw orthogonal lines back to the right and left vanishing point. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So now I've completed this orthogonal line. I've gotten rid of the horizon line with the vanishing point so as not to confuse you. Of course, you would not get rid of the horizon line, nor would you get rid of the vanishing points. Now, the next thing I would do is obviously make sure that this is connected to the corner. And then I'm going to draw orthogonal lines back to the other vanishing point. And then to the first vanishing point. And then finally completing the front surface like that. Obviously, that's wrong. Now, if you take a look at what I've drawn, you'll notice that the front wall, as you would expect, started out rather large, rather tall, and then went much smaller. Obviously, things that are closer to us will appear taller or larger. Now, at this point, we also know that back here, there would be a vertical line coming down but we have a very big question. How long should that line be coming down from that corner? Well, you can't just make it up because that front edge, that front corner that we drew originally, actually will determine how big that vertical line back here should be. Let me show you how. In order to figure out how long that line should be, we need to start drawing transparently. So let's put on our x-ray glasses and let's drop a vertical line from this back corner, which we wouldn't actually be able to see, as you must realize. And then we would go from this back corner orthogonally to the left. Now you can see that if this wall were to actually be visible, that's what it would look like. If we could see through the roof and the sidewall, then this area back here would be what it would look like. Now, we would have a vertical line coming down here. And again, we draw this. It would be an orthogonal line. Once again, transparent. Now, over here, we would have another line. And we would be drawing back to the left vanishing point like that. And when that's all done, let me clean this up for you just a little bit here. OK. When that's all done, then we would draw a final orthogonal line going to the right vanishing point. 
and I'm going to switch over to black here because that's where that's where the bottom of this would be. Now obviously I'm a tiny bit off here. Let me redraw real quickly to make sure that it's 